welcome back to our sessions on uh, differential calculus we are trying to see uh, what information we can obtain by looking at uh, polar form of uh, various curves uh, so let me continue where i had uh, left uh, so let me present the screen so here it is uh, this is what we had done last time uh, how to find angle between radius and tangent of a polar curve basically it meant i'm just recalling what we did last time uh, if you start with the polar curve r equal to f theta that means it's a relation between r and theta then pick up any arbitrary point uh, p on that let's call it p r theta then you draw a tangent to that curve c curve r equal to f theta at p and i'll call the intersection of this tangent with the positive x-axis or initial line as t and then the angle between this tangent and the positive x-axis i'll call it psi and uh, the angle between the radius vector and op that is the tangent i will call it as phi we were the, all the time we were trying to see phi in terms of r theta i know it's a bit painful to just see these words so let me quickly recall geometrically what we were doing so we had uh, some curve uh, polar form it's given r equal to f theta i pick up an arbitrary point p on this and then i have this uh, r vector uh, join arbitrary point on the curve with the initial point and i'll call this line segment as r op is radius but of course line itself goes indefinitely and this angle is theta so r theta will define the point our point is defined by point p is defined by r that is the length of this and theta and what we did was we drew a tangent to p tangent to curve c that is this is r equal to f theta at p and uh, called this t uh, we call we wanted this angle or this angle both are same vertically opposite angles uh, that is five that's what i call five uh, phi angle between the tangent and the radius vector this is what we want to find in terms of r and theta and this angle i called it psi use this angle uh so we had this expression r d theta by dr is nothing but tan phi tan phi is r d theta by uh so this is what we did we, I, I will not go through the proof again so finally we got this expression last one tan phi is r d theta by dr that means if i know uh, this curve r and in terms of r and theta all i do is to find r d theta by dr that itself is tan phi in addition to this we also did the following problem uh, you can see just before i show you the additional thing as i move the point p uh, you can see that phi and other things are uh, changing so uh, i don't know but various points tan phi is r d theta by dr and also we saw in addition to this if i draw a perpendicular that is perpendicular to the tangent that is normal to the curve at this point this is called normal if this is tangent perpendicular to tangent is called the normal to the curve at this point and we also wanted this particular angle this is the required angle that means angle between the normal and the positive x axis either this or this it doesn't matter so this is uh, we found this also this how did we find this if i know phi i should be able to find this uh, how do i do that uh, this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees so this is this angle this angle is exterior angle for this triangle op and whatever this name is so this angle is sum of interior opposite angles theta plus phi plus 90 so this angle will be 90 minus phi uh, i think that's correct uh, we have done these kind of things where if i want to find this angle 
how I can write it in terms of R, theta, phi, psi, and things like that. This is what we have done in our last class. Uh, so now let's proceed further. Uh, I want to today talk about angle between two. Uh, yeah, this is what we did. Uh, the angle psi, sorry, required angle is psi minus pi by two. So that anyway, we saw this no problem. This is the uh, basic thing. Understanding this, you can find out various angles in terms of you know we have done this uh, many examples we have done i don't want to spend time on that again today what we want to do is i want to find angle between two curves i hope i have a geogebra uh, illustration of that let us see that uh, angle curve something must be there yeah here it is Here, this is the point which I, this is what we want to do today. What we want to do today is I have two curves C1, which is written in red color, C2, which is written in blue color, which is drawn in blue color. Now, I want to find this angle. Firstly, angle is always between two straight lines. Now, how do I define angle between two curves? So, essentially, what we do is you take a tangent to C1 at this point. So let us take, uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll return this. Let us check this uh, intersection point. Uh, I don't seem to have written that. So let me uh, write that. Yeah, that is the intersection point. This point is the intersection of C1 and C2. At P, you draw a tangent to C1 which will be a straight line passing through this. Uh, okay, that P, before I do that, let's find out the polar coordinate. See, basically, let me re uh, recapitulate again. This is C1 is one curve, R equal to F1 theta. C2 is R equal to F2 theta. They are both given in polar form. Uh, it doesn't matter what form they are given. I want to define angle between them. Take the point of intersection of this. And then, of course, I can talk of its uh, r and uh, theta means that is the coordinates of P, polar coordinates of P. I can talk of it. Uh, I want to know angle between C1 and C2 at P. P is a point common to both C1 and C2. So how do I define this? You basically draw a tangent to C1 at P. You draw a tangent to C2 at same point P. Angle between these two is precisely what is the uh, see this angle not this angle i want one minute i'll show you this not this angle either or neither this nor that i want this angle angle between the two tangents that is angle between the red line and the blue line that is what i want this is what I want. This angle is defined to be angle between C1 and C2. So angle between C1 and C2 is basically angle between the tangents at C1 and C2, tangents to C1 and C2 at P. Just to have clarity, again, let me say. So I want to find angle between C1 and C2 at this point. So how do I define that? I draw tangent to both the curves at that point and then if you want you can forget about the uh, curves themselves you can come back to them later if you want so i can talk of angle between these two tangent vectors this is a tangent vector to c1 and this is a tangent vector to c2 this is tangent vector to c1 this is tangent vector to c2 so just for time being forget about c1 and c2 i have two lines two both these are tangents to c1 and c2 at p now, angle between them is what I will call angle between C1 and C2. This is the definition of angle between the two curves. Angle between two curves is angle between the tangents to two curves at that point. That's precise definition. Angle at angle between C1 and C2 at this point is nothing but angle between the tangents at that point. 
so that is what this is what i want to find but what do i know already already i know angle between the radius and the tangent vector i know tan phi so if i call this phi 1 tan phi 1 is r d theta by r uh, d theta by dr where r is given by r equal to f theta is given by, uh, gives this red curve and similarly i know uh, this angle oh, so let me write down the, which are those angles try to understand this i want this angle angle between red and blue line what i know is this angle this angle i know because it's the angle between the radius vector and tangent to curve c1 i can find this i know this is what we did last time give me any curve uh, i can find the uh, angle between the tangent and uh, radius vector if things are cluttering up for you in the figure i will reduce things which are not required this i will require this i won't require for one second this also i won't require so if i have the curve i know this angle how to find this is the curve and this is a point on the curve this is the radius vector and this is the tangent i know how to find angle between the radius and the tangent vector that's what we have learned till now uh, now what i want is i want something extra uh, i want angle similar uh, i want angle between the two curves which are basically angle between these tangents similarly i know angle between the radius vector and the curve c2 this also i know well, how do i know this again same thing tan phi 2 is r d theta by dr where r is now r i mean given uh, the equation giving the second curve so phi 1 and phi 2 i know how to find basically i know how to find tan phi 1 and tan phi 2 from that i will be able to find difference between phi 1 and phi 2 mod phi 1 mod of phi 1 minus phi 2 you don't know in this figure it looks phi 2 is bigger than phi 1 but maybe phi 1 is bigger than phi 2 we don't know so you'll have to consider modulus of phi 1 minus phi 2 uh, so that is the uh, this is the geometry of what we are looking for uh, or how do i write algebraically i'll show again so let me uh, before i go to algebra just recall exactly what we are doing I know this mode of not able to write and draw together does create a bit of a problem, but I'm trying to overcome that with. Uh, so this is the these are the two curves C1 and C2. I want to find the angle between them at this point. So how do I even define this angle? So for that I will uh, take the radius vector. This radius vector is a funny kind of thing ah uh, one it is on c1 one it is on c2 sometimes i'll use this sometimes will that but in any case magnitude of r is the same uh, and then this theta that is polar coordinates of p is same once i will see this point as a point on c1 once i will see it as point on c2 so now to find angle between the two curves i need angle between two tangents this is what i define as angle between the two lines and i know this angle because this is the angle between the radius vector and the first tangent so i know how to find that similarly i know angle between the radius and the second tangent vector again i know how to find it tan phi 2 uh, and what angle i require that is between the two tangents is basically phi 1 minus phi 2 it's modulus means difference between phi 1 and phi 2 so how to find that algebraically i'll show you here uh so why so yeah this actually i should have recalled this before uh i told you whatever i showed you here i never used uh, anything about r equal to f theta this curve c1 c2 could be given by y equal to x also it doesn't matter even if you use cartesian form it's the same uh, concept concept is same but how do you find phi 1 phi 2 that's what uh, you must have seen how to find if c1 and c2 are given in terms of y equal to f1x and y equal to f2x how to find this angle i can find slope of this line i can find slope of this line that means i can find slope of t1 and slope of t2 basically dy by dx of first curve at this point is slope of t1 
divided by dx of the second curve at this point is slope of this. If I know slope of this tangent and slope of this tangent, then I can find the angle between them. There is some standard formula from your second PUC. That's what I have written here. If y1x and y2x be two functions intersecting at x0, y0, this is not polar coordinates. These are Cartesian coordinates now. Then, so if y1, y2 are two functions intersecting at x0, y0, angle alpha between y1x and y2x is defined to be angle between the tangents to y1x and y2x at x0, y0. So how do I know what is the, how to find this angle between the two tangents, angle between two lines, you have to find the slope of two lines. Do you know how to find slope of the line? Yes, of course I know. Um, M1, M2, I can find by just M1 is dy1 x by dy1 by dx. Y1 x is this curve. So you differentiate this and evaluate it at x0, you will get M1. Differentiate this with respect to x, evaluate it at x0, y0, then you will get M2. Then this is the formula for angle between the two tangents. This is in terms of Cartesian coordinates. This kind of thing you must have seen in your first PUC, second PUC, coordinate geometry. Uh, now what we want to do is do the same thing with polar curves. This also I just explained to you. Um, angle between two polar curves is between is the angle between the tang same definition. The so definition of tang uh, angle between curves will not change uh, based on the form in which you are looking at. Whether it is Cartesian or polar, the angle is same. Angle is angle between the tangents. How to find the angle between tangents is what will differ. So the required angle, which is alpha, which is angle between the two tangents is mod of phi one minus phi two. I've shown you the diagram for that. So that's tan alpha is tan of phi one minus tan of phi two, which is mod of tan phi one minus phi two. So remember this tan of, because uh, uh, tan is positive both in first and third quadrant. Remember that. So tan of mod of phi one minus phi two is mod of tan phi one minus phi two, which is usual formula tan of a minus b I've used. So if I want to find alpha, I'll find tan alpha. How do I find tan alpha? I have to find tan phi one and tan phi two. How do I find tan phi one, tan phi two? Oh, that's what we have done all this time. Phi one is the angle between the radius vector and the tangent to the first curve. So that's what we have been doing. How to find angle between radius and the tangent vector of a curve at a point. Similarly, you do the same thing for phi two. So tan phi one minus tan phi two divided by one plus tan phi one into tan phi two and modulus of this is precisely tan alpha, the angle between the two tangents. Let's see a couple of examples. Now I will not show too much of GeoGebra uh, because as you can see GeoGebra, I need to explicitly take a curve. I hope I have already conveyed to you the geometric meaning of what we are doing. So I want to find the angle of intersection of these curves, r equal to two sine theta and r equal to sine theta plus cos theta. Understand this. This is one polar curve. This is another polar curve. These are two polar curves. They intersect somewhere. I don't know where they intersect. It means where both these are equal. Two sine theta must be equal to sine theta plus cos theta, which means sine theta equal to cos theta, which means theta is equal to pi by four. That is where they will intersect. Uh, at that, wherever they intersect, I want to know what is the angle between them. Uh, how to do this? So differentiate, the, first I will find angle between radius vector and tangent to this curve. How do I do that? Usual, you differentiate this with respect to r, you will get one is equal to two cos theta d theta by dr, which means tan phi one is r d theta by dr, which is d theta by dr, we just know we saw is one by two cos theta, r is two sine theta, so two sine theta by two cos theta is tan theta. So phi one is same as theta, that's what it says. Similarly, you find phi 2 in when r is given by this. So differentiate the second curve with respect to r to get this usual things. You differentiate this, you get cos theta minus sine theta, everything into d theta by dr, because this is cos theta d theta by dr minus sine theta d theta by dr. So tan phi 2, which is r d theta by dr is r is sine theta plus cos theta and d theta by dr is 1 by cos theta minus sine theta. So you rewrite this as, you know, divide both numerator and denominator by cos theta, you get one plus tan theta divided by one minus tan theta, but this is one is same as tan pi by four. So this is same as tan of pi by four plus theta. So tan phi two is tan of pi by four plus theta. So which means phi two is pi by four plus theta. So I know phi one from the previous one. 
phi 2 now i know so phi 1 was theta you can see it here there's no what we did here phi 1 is theta and phi 2 is pi by 2 plus theta so difference modulus of difference between them is pi by 4. so what this says is try to understand the angle between these two curves these two curves wherever they intersect i didn't even have to evaluate where they intersect that's the power of this kind of mathematics angle between them are found so how did i find you differentiate this with respect to r to find angle between radius vector and tangent to this curve and similarly you differentiate this curve to find angle between radius vector and this tangent to this curve now angle between the tangent to this curve and angle between uh, sorry angle between tangent to this curve and tangent to this curve is what is the angle between these two curves so this phi 2 minus phi 1 mod of that that's what we did so let me give you one more example uh, so this one says show that these curves are orthogonal this is one curve r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta and r is equal equal to b into 1 minus cos theta actually we have seen all these curves when i gave you examples of polar curves i have explicitly plotted these for various values of a you can go back and see those lectures but anyway i don't need to do that now so they are orthogonal orthogonal means what i don't know many of some of you might be hearing this word for the first time orthogonal means perpendicular so i want to show these two are perpendicular how do i show these two are perpendicular these two curves that means tangent between them have an angle 90 degrees between them so i want to find angle between the tangents of them so to find angle between the tangents of them i have to find angle between the radius and each tangent and subtract one from the other so let us see so that's what it says orthogonal means perpendicular so first let us try to find what is the angle uh, between radius vector and tangent to this curve so differentiate that is the usual way you differentiate this we will get uh, 1 is equal to a into 1 minus 1 nilla, 0 minus sin theta d theta by dr which means tan phi 1 which is r d theta by dr is this much uh, minus 1 plus cos theta by sin theta uh, you can see this algebraic manipulation trigonometric manipulation don't make me do it i'm sure you can make this out uh, now differentiate this second curve similarly to get this so if you differentiate this you'll get one is equal to b sin theta d theta by dr so tan phi 2 is r d theta by dr which is r which is b into 1 minus cos theta divided by not divided by into d theta by dr but d theta by dr is 1 by b sin theta so i have written 1 by b sin theta so this is b gets cancelled 1 minus cos theta into sin theta so now observe tan phi 1 was tan phi 1 was minus 1 plus cos theta by sin theta and uh, tan phi 2 is 1 minus cos theta by sin theta so you are basically you want to prove they are perpendicular so somewhere slopes must be product of slopes must be minus 1 so tan phi 1 into tan phi 2 is this much where things get cancelled nicely everything is set up so they are orthogonal means 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta by sin square theta so this is 1 uh, I mean 1 minus cos square theta by sin square theta is 1 and there is a minus factor hanging around so this is minus 1 so this shows that tangents and hence the curves are orthogonal so I hope it is clear let me recall what we did we wanted to show these two curves are orthogonal all we did was uh, find phi 1 for the first curve which means tan phi 1 which means r d theta by dr so that you find d theta by dr and find tan phi 1. Do the same thing for the second curve. So you know tan phi 1 and tan phi 2. You observe that tan phi 1 into tan phi 2 is minus 1. All basic trigonometric manipulation, trigonometric identities. So those two curves are perpendicular. Uh, now similarly, there are more questions. It's, I mean, one can ask 1000 questions on similar, uh, same principle. Find the angle of intersection of the curves are r equal to a theta and r equal to a by theta so differentiate the first curve you'll get one is equal to a d theta by dr which means tan phi one is r d theta by dr which is a theta by a which is a which is theta and we have seen this once before you remember uh, r equal to a theta the uh, phi one is you know maybe we have not seen this particular example 
So anyway, this is there in front of you right now. And similarly, for the second curve, you differentiate this, you will get this. One is equal to minus a by theta squared d theta by dr, which means tan phi 2 is r d theta by dr, which is r here is a by theta. So when you uh, simplify and you substitute for r a by theta, and d theta by dr is theta square by a with a negative sign, so I'll get minus theta. Uh, which means, see, try to understand here, tan phi 2, phi 1 is theta, tan phi 2 is minus theta. So tan phi 1 into tan phi 2 is minus theta square. But now, I, I mean, I'm not happy with just this. This is the angle. What, what is theta is what one wants to check. Uh, for that, we have to understand these curves. You see, these curves, where do these two intersect? These two will intersect when these two are for r a theta is equal to a by theta. a theta equal to a by theta means a, a gets cancelled, theta is equal to 1 by theta. For what value of theta is 1 by theta and theta are same? That is theta is plus or minus 1. Correct? So in either case, theta square is 1. Theta is plus or minus 1, theta square is 1. So that's what I have written here. Observe that the point of intersection of a theta and a by theta uh, at the point of intersection, theta square is minus 1. That's what this says. Uh, theta square is 1, it says. Sorry. Theta square is 1 because of which tan phi 1, tan phi 2. Oh, this is a wrong thing. Theta square is not minus 1. It is plus 1. But um, the uh, product of slopes is minus theta square, which is minus 1. So the curves are orthogonal. This is what we showed. So the basic trick from examination point of view is the same thing. Given curve, differentiate with respect to r and find out angle between the tangent and the radius vector in both the cases. That means both the curves and manipulate them. That's all. Uh, all the problems have similar uh, way of solving. And next one is pedal equation. I will uh, come back to pedal equation next time. For today, I will stop here. Uh, thank you for your attention. I'll stop for today. I'll stop here. So what we did was we found angle between two curves. We defined angle between two curves as angle between the tangents to the curve at that intersecting point. And I know how to find angle between the radius and the two tangents. So their difference will give me angle between the tangents and hence angle between the curve. Mostly the problems we saw are orthogonal. I mean, we wanted to show curves are orthogonal, which means product of their tan phi 1 and tan phi 2 must be 1, minus 1. That's what we saw. Thank you for your attention.